Welcome to Cal State Fullerton University. I'm Dr. Scott Lynn, and today we have the Anaheim Ducks in here for their preseason testing. Our goal is to test each of these athletes to make sure they're super prepared for this upcoming season so they can have a great year and hopefully take another run up the Stanley Cup. So this is our third year utilizing um, the people here at Cal State Fullerton. So it, it, it really it gives us a huge advantage in my opinion because it takes me as a coach out of the equation and it lets the athletes go through a series of tests and screens that um, really allow me to get a better picture of the athlete and, and what they're capable of and what their limitations are. All right, so what we're doing here is the functional movement screen, which is examining the fundamental movement patterns of all the players. Um, what we find is if they have little efficiencies in how they move during this test, those things can build up throughout the year and create injuries. And so what we're looking for is to pick these things up early so that we can deal with them in the gym and make sure they don't uh, cause injuries throughout the season. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're just going to pop up into the top of a push-up position so your hands are directly under your shoulders. Right to left, left to right, hold two-second hold each time. Two on the right, two on the left. So here we're just looking at their ability to produce power sideways, which is kind of important for uh, hockey players, but a lot of what hockey players do is kind of their ability to load up on one leg and produce power here. You don't need to stick the landing, it's all good. <laughs> it really allows me to do my job in a much more efficient way it, and to really address the athlete as a whole and make sure that you know our programming, our nutrition, our our follow-up and follow-through is done properly. Just hold, yeah. All right, ready? Okay, straight up. Good, and just cross your arms and hold. It's really important to make sure their cores are stable, and so this is, we'll do some plank testing with them. So what the research says is really important is endurance of these muscles around our core, not really strength. So this is what this is testing. Do they have the endurance to, to hold their core in position? So we're looking at body fat percentage here using air displacement. So look at somebody's body fat percentage, how much fat they have in their body. Perfect. So basically one of the ways they used to do this is with water displacement. So they dunk you in a whole tank of water. But because a lot of people freak out when they're underwater because they can't breathe. And so it's, it's a really tough test. It's not very practical. So now we use this, which is basically using the same concept, but with air. From that information, it allows me to develop their in-season training program, their off-season training programs, uh, hopefully in order to um, prevent injuries or get in front of injuries or uh, look for bad trends, good trends, what have you that will you know, kind of allow us to better service the athlete and make sure that uh, they're more resilient. So our goal with most of this testing is not to make these tests as hockey specific as possible because obviously then we would be on the ice doing a lot of our testing. Uh, we think that's the job for the coaches. The coach's job is to make sure that they're doing their jobs out on the ice. We want to see how their bodies are working physiologically and biomechanically uh, so we can give the best athletes to the coaches. 30 seconds of nightmare, but got through it, heading home, might take a quick trip in and out, then bed.